Hey guys, I just got done watching Game of Thrones and I thought it would be a really cool idea to kind of simulate a Game of Thrones-esque battle here in Total War Warhammer since all the pieces are in place. Uh, and I'm going to be the Vampire Counts here led by Manfred who kind of looks like the Night King himself. And we're going to have all these zombie units with some skeleton warriors, some spearmen, some grave guards, stuff like that to be kind of like the White Walkers in the snow here. And then we're going to have the Empire be the humans with some great swords who are crazy, crazy good infantry, which a bunch of swordmen, some spearmen, stuff like that. I know that not a lot of people in the Game of Thrones universe kind of use spears, so I try to give them a bunch of swordsmen. It says we're pretty much even here, because uh, these zombie units are very, very weak, and they're used as cannon fodder mostly. So we're going to go ahead and get into this battle and see what transpires. All right, so as we start our battle here, I'm going to kind of do a simple setup. I'm going to map all the zombie units to one, and I'm going to lay them out as the front runners here. And then I'm going to take Manfred and these other guys who are my secondary units, and I'm going to have them back them up as the zombies are the first to go cannon fodder wave. But let's take a look here at everything we've got. You guys seen the zombies before in the door video. So here we go. This is Manfred. Yeah, he, he I mean he pretty much looks like the Night King like a lot. I mean even his weapon is pretty similar. And as we go down the line, these are skeleton soldiers, just basic skeleton soldiers, sword and shield. We're going to get further down here. These are skeleton spearmen. These are the grave guard, standard grave guard heavily armored unit for the vampire counts and as we get down here, these are the Great Weapon uh, Grave Guard. They have two-handed swords instead of sword and shield. Well, they're they're kind of like spear sword things. I don't know. But they're really cool. They're skeletal knights. And that's pretty much how we're going to start this battle. It's a short field, so we should get into the combat quick. I'm going to do a full charge with all zombie units. And then a standard march with the secondaries. And I'm going to try to meet the Great Swords with our... Grave guard great weapons and kind of see how we go but I love to watch the skeletons go because they're all kind of shambling and they swing their uh, shields about and it's very cool only the grave guards kind of march like uh, humans do everything else is shambling and crazy looking even the zombies they're all just hobbling and trying to go as fast as they can but the zombies are gonna go full charge first and we are just gonna have this be a fucking mess as this goes into battle here. So I'm going to try to meet everything head on if we can and just have them clash basically. And just have these all these forces meet in battle. Try to stop flankers if I can and try to clash with everything. And I like to have it's good to have the zombies kind of uh, surround a bit. And then let's do a full forward charge here. Let's try to pin out the greatsword troops and try to meet them. So there's one. Send a grave guard after them. There's got to be another greatsword troop around here. There's the other one. Have the grave guards meet them. Those are the only ones. Manfred, we are going to have you cast something called the Winds of Death because he is a magic guy. And we're going to have that go out. And Manfred just back off. There we go. Some winds of death going out. Manfred, you are going to take on these pikemen here as these soldiers of the undead meet on the fields of battle. Okay, there's two fighting that. Let's send another grouping in there. We're going to try to cycle these skeletal soldiers around. Try to meet a flank if we can. They might get stuck a little bit, but let's try to get on the back end here. Just run, boys, run. Okay, and have them come in there. So it looks like the battle's underway here as these armies of the undead are fighting men and doing what they do best. All right, look at this chaos. These grave guards just kind of standing there. I think they're cluttered up, and they can't get to. Are there? They can't get to the great sorters. So we need to try to pull them out 
Because Manfred is fighting a bunch of greatswords by himself. That's the one thing. There's a lot of unit collision in this game. Even though Manfred's kind of a badass, it's still not a good idea to have him fight two troops on his own without some backup. And have Manfred cast a spell, see if he can do some buffing a little bit here. Let's get some things going. Resurrects dead combatants. That's a good thing to do. All right, here. We've got this Curse of Years going out that's going to slow melee attack and uh, slow ability recharge. Manfred is a spellcaster, so we're going to get him to do that. We're going to throw some buffs out as well, try to get our troops up here. As we've got some units falling beneath the constant, constant battle here. Zombies are not really good units. They are pretty much cannon fodder, and they should be used as such. We've got some people routing already. See if he can raise some more dead. There's a lot of dead guys around him. Yeah, the, the leader over here is just piling into my graveguard units. We do have some troops fleeing as the skeletons are coming after them. I'm actually going to use this as an opportunity to have my skeletons flank while those guys leave. And then we've got this other group of skeletons that are just kind of hanging out, so send them in as well. Manfred, if we could raise some more dead, that would be fantastic. Manfred and these graveguards are chasing, but we're going to send them back into the battle here to probably an area that could use some help. So probably right there. Those guys are fleeing, so we're going to send them into this mob of a battle. We've got some pikemen coming back, so we're going to send these skeletals over there. Hopefully there's not going to be too much of a traffic jam. Uh, there might be. Uh, no, we're good. We're going to have them fight. I think a grave guard got stuck in the mix, but... It's not a big deal. We need them in this fight here. Send them in. There is a lot of dead. I want to try to raise some more dead, because there's so many dead on the map if we can. Oh boy, a lot of the routed units are coming back. The problem is I don't have any routed units, because the zombies will fight until they are dead. We are losing significant numbers here. Oh boy, and Manfred's gone, and all the zombies have crumble. So when the leader of a Vampire Count's army dies, all the armies get crumble, which means they slowly, slowly decay. And it looks like the forces of man have beaten out the infamous White Walkers across this snowy plain. Now, I'm not a great Vampire Count's player, so... There's probably going to be some people out there that were like, You should have did this. You should have did that. You should have used more magic. Whatever, man. I don't know. I'm not a great Vampire Counts player. I need to get a lot better with it. But I think this was fun. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I think it just shows that there's hope for man in the world of Game of Thrones. The zombies are definitely beatable. Uh, all you got to do is take off the head and the rest will crumble. Till then, I'll catch you guys next time. And I hope you have a good day. Go ahead and subscribe if you like the video. And if you really like this one, you should watch all the rest of my other videos. I've got all these different social media outlets that I use occasionally. You can follow them if you want to get in contact with me. Thanks everybody, and I'll see you next time.